Hi, I'm Alex Caruso with the Chicago Bulls. I'm here with Travis Matthew playing at the ACC Championship this week. It's going great so far. I'm looking forward to Sunday. What was this last year, this transition going to the Bulls? What, was that, what has that been like for you? It's been fun. You know, I think a little more responsibility, you know, um, basketball-wise, a little more leadership just from where I've been in the past. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be 10 toes down and, and dive into the deep end and, and really embrace all that because, you know, for me, it's all about growth. I'm trying to, trying to grow and be a better player, better than I was last year, better than I was last month. You know, so for me, just being in a new setting, I think, has allowed me to kind of tap into that. So last year you guys had a lot of new guys yourself, obviously, but you kind of hit the ground running. Was I don't want to say surprise at all, but the fast start, how things quick clicked, was that kind of what you expected when you went there? Or did it kind of? Yeah, I mean, you know, from the outside looking in, uh, you probably didn't, but from the inside looking out, I knew we had really good players. You know, we had great, great role players, great guys that score the ball. Um, it was really just about us defending. You know, I thought we did a really good job of that the first half of the season. Had a lot of adversity with injuries, a little bit of COVID, so so that kind of derailed us a little bit. But overall, to, to keep in the standings, I think we finished with six seed or something like that. Uh, I think that's it's a great accomplishment for they've been the last couple of years. Hopefully, you know, just take the next step next year. Do you still stay in contact with any of your Lakers teammates, like LeBron or AD or any of those guys? Do you still yeah, stay in touch there's at all? Yeah, a handful of them. I still, you know, we're all obviously still tapped in on social media. Uh, I still talk to Foods a lot. Okay. About golf. Yeah. Um, about basketball. About stuff just in general. We have a great relationship with you know, KCP, uh, you know, LeBron through social media, a bunch of those guys from Danny Green, uh, Dwight, you know, we still tap in with them every now and then. We've we got a great chemistry. Do you have a favorite uh, text or DM from LeBron? Anything you would be willing to, to share that kind of is either uh, funny or inspiring? Or? I don't know if there's one in general, but just, you know, anytime you, know, you have the best player in the world, you know, give you confidence, give you, give you his his backing, you know, it just, it just helps the game a little bit because there's a little more confidence going forward. You're probably above this, but some of us back in our day, maybe Facebook stalked some of our exes at some point or other. Was there, I know your busy schedule, was there any part of you kind of watched what happened last year, kind of like a I told you so type of vibe, or was you, are you kind of just... Yeah, maybe not I told you so, but I, I don't think I realized how much you know, the Lakers are in the media until you leave. You know, and being in, in the facility, it's a little hard to see, but being in Chicago this year, I could definitely tell, and it was easy to keep up with throughout the year. Were you surprised at all, kind of how things kind of didn't go as expected last year for them, given the success you guys had had while you were there? Yeah, I mean, they just they had a lot of turnover. You know, it's it, in any time in professional sports, you have a lot of turnover. You, you got to rebuild chemistry, you got to rebuild continuity, uh, and that's stuff that you know can't really be overlooked. Sometimes when you're like a pro sports, you think you just put a bunch of really good players on the court, it'll take care of itself. Sometimes you know, it takes a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of glue, a little bit of time to figure out how it's going to work. So I think that's probably just what they went through this past year. And the last question for me, what if you had it to do over, what would you want that process to play out last offseason when you were free agent? I think it worked out great for me. You know, I think I think I got a, a, you know, the most money I could get. I got the best best opportunity I could get. Um, went to a, to a team and organization that I think really supports me and, and, and believes in me and gives me the opportunity to play you know, basketball the way that I play best. And, I don't think I'd change it for, for anything.